And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. The first half of the day, we're going to linger with some remnants of some snow showers. We currently have wherever you see the solid white shaded areas here. We've got some isolated areas of some snow and snow flurries, specifically in the upper Snake River Plain, the Palisades heading over to Jackson Island Park, and this will continue to move east and also south, so southeast manner. And then in the later half of the day, we'll turn to fair weather as high pressure begins to set itself up today and then dominate throughout until the start of next week's work week. We have one winter warning hanging on still until 6 p.m. One to three inches of snow for the lower three counties in Montana, Gallatin, Madison, and the lower portion of Beaverhead. Those three counties in Montana up to six inches for higher elevations. Winds forecasted to be between 7 to 21 miles per hour all day today and into the evening time. Strongest for the upper Snake River Plain and coming out of the Magic Valley. Snake River Plain temperatures are a few degrees colder compared to yesterday. Pocatello has a high of 37. Idaho Falls has a high temperature of 38 with winds between 12 and 21 miles per hour. Chance of flurries of dusting of snow for everywhere except the eastern highlands. Eastern and highlands can expect about one to two inches. When it comes to the eastern highlands, we're talking snowfall amounts to accumulate specifically around Island Park, Driggs, and then over around the Teton region as well. Temperatures in the 30s and into the 20s for our high temperatures. Snake River Plain in the overnight hours back below freezing, so we'll have quite a few hours of melting during the daytime and then back into an icing event at nighttime. Pocatello has a low of 28 with with American Falls and then Idaho Falls has a low of 26 with the rest of these locations. Southeast Highlands, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies with temperatures in the 20s and upper teens. For the Central Mountains, partly cloudy skies, wind chills in the as low as the single digits. Stanley, Stanley's wind chills can get into the sub-zero range. And for the Eastern Highlands, looking at partly cloudy skies with temperatures in the teens, mostly only do boys out of the teens with a low temperature of 20. 21 degrees. Tomorrow, high pressure dominating. And so we'll see mostly sunny skies throughout tomorrow and throughout the weekend, the St. Patrick's Day weekend. For the Central Mountains, we're looking at 30s and 40s. And for the Eastern Highlands, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 30s, and a very low part of the 40s as well. To, uh, now for the Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. Pocatello, a high temperature of 37 today. All of our high temperatures are well above freezing, so many hours of melting during the daytime and then our low temperatures all below freezing except for Monday getting very close to freezing. So we'll have ice. It will continue with the thawing during the day and refreezing at night. So slippery icy surfaces can be expected in the overnight and morning hours for your overnight and morning commutes. And then during the daytime will turn into a lot of slush and still slippery conditions. Idaho Falls, a high of 38. Central Mountains today has a high temperature of 35. On St. Patrick's Day, we're getting into the 50s by St. Patrick's Day. And for the Teton area, high of 31. Back to you, Matt.